Hi, my name is Michael, and I am the founder of the Brewer Nerds community, and I'm here to talk about my system. It's a three-tier gravity-fed system, meaning there's basically a three-tier structure, and everything is fed by gravity. There's no pumps, no mess, no fuss. Um, the three tiers are as follows. You've got the hot liquor tank, which is the storage of really hot water. It's 170 degrees that we use for sparging. Sparging is a process of rinsing your grain. Right here we have the mash tun. It's just a simple kettle um, with a false bottom. In it. The false bottom basically allows me to filter out all of the grain and get just the wort out of there. And then of course down at the bottom here, the boil kettle. It's a really easy system to work with. Um, I just use one burner right now. Um, to heat up both my strike water, which is the water that the grain initially meets with in the mash tun, as well as the sparge water, which I use up here in this cooler. There are a wide variety of different uh, system options available. You don't have to have a kettle for a mash tun. There are um, plenty of people that actually use coolers uh, to do their mashing in, in which case instead of using a burner to um, increase the temperature of your mash, you would do water infusion. So you would heat up your water elsewhere, add the water into your mash tun to raise up the temperature. Or you could do uh, one, an old German technique uh, called decoction mashing, where you actually pull some of the grain out and the wort, boil that, and then bring that in. Uh, so that's basically my system. It's really easy for me to use. Eventually I'll probably build it out a little bit further bring some pumps to actually help automate the process of bringing the water up in here so I don't have to do as much heavy lifting. But by and large, what I like about uh, this process is it's simple and I can brew up to six gallons really easily um, and it's cleanup is easy. There's, there's not, not many moving parts and there's a lot less points of failure for things to go wrong. So um, cost wise, it's also pretty accessible. Um, <clears throat> the probably the most expensive pieces are the burner and maybe the kettles with uh, some of the pre-drilled things for like the um, the temperature gauge as well as the ball valve but by and large everything else is pretty inexpensive I also use these uh, shelf systems that I got at Home Depot um, they're really nice they're on wheels and I can move them about um, and position how position them however I want. I can move it out it further in the, into the driveway or move it about in the garage. Uh, one point of safety, I do um, brew with propane. So when you're brewing with propane, um, if you're gonna do it in the garage, and I do, it's I'm very careful about it. If you brew in the garage, just make sure you have enough circulation. Open up the garage door so that you've got air circulating in and out. Um, otherwise, it's best to brew outside um, just for safety reasons. But by and large, it's a really easy system to use and I love it. So that is the three-tier gravity-fed system.